Hello, I am the Jordan, your coach of the Virginia Vikings. Welcome to week four of the VBLS VGC Draft League. This week, I'm against Crocodile Dundee, coached by Tom. That's right, we're fighting back-to-back Australians in this league. Um, the plan is to beat the Vinicol. Venusaur and Torkoal are very hard to fight against, but we have some plans for that. Uh, he's got a dual water types here that are very different modes from his uh, sun mode. Um, there's good redirection, good prankster support. Crocodile's probably the scariest offensive threat into my team overall. Uh, and just assorted good stuff that we're going to have to feel out. But the plan is to win with Heatran. Heatran with an Assault Desk lives everything. It lives all the ground moves. These are mostly special attackers from Tom. And so the main impediment to Heatran getting 9 KOs is to not get put to sleep by Venusaur. And so I've got a couple of options to dispose of the Venusaur or make sure it can't put me to sleep. Uh, the most important one is Safety Goggles Thundy. Um, so can't be put to sleep and I can taunt it to prevent other guys from getting put to sleep. Uh, throw can protect turn one, then get, it, get itself burned, which is good for it, and then it can also get put to sleep. Um, Latius is also part of the lead a lot of the time, um, so I'm just going to protect Latius while I taunt Thundy or something like that. Um, Latius also has a casual weakness policy. I don't think weakness policy has to be like your main win con all the time. Sometimes you just see that Crocodile is going to throw a dark move at you and you can live it and Oko it. Um, Oko Dynamax Crocodile with uh, plus two max overgrowth. Um, and, you know. I can just protect turn one um, against the Venusaur, and at worst, um, like he just sends a throw chop and we trade. But at best, he sends them the turn one max, and then we live it, and then we get to Oko. Okay, I'm one speed faster than max speed Crocodile, so that's like a really good. Uh, if I can make that read, that'll be good for me. Um, so yeah, so these three are the disruption leads that will dispose of the Venusaur. I mean, I've got fire moves, I've got weather ball and sun, so I should be able to get rid of the Venusaur. And then uh, Heatran can go ham. Um, he's got the coverage for everything. You know, uh, fire is extremely good in sun. Steel against these fairies. Uh, ground uh, gives me the special defense boost against the special attacking group, and then a solar beam. The few things I can't already hit super effectively, Lapras and Suicune, I've got with uh, Max Grass. Um, so the other two are kind of the backup mode. I'm not as excited about it, but Aromatisse is great in all situations. So, um, you know, I kind of suspect he'll uh, with Venusaur he won't try to put it to sleep, but it'll send the poison move at it. But I live because I'm Aromatisse and I'm great. And then I can Trick Room Misty Terrain. That also protects all of my guys from being put to sleep. Uh, I can fake tears to help out Gastrodon's output, and also like fake tears for my own output. Uh, Aromatis can chunk through the whole team with Dazzling Gleam if you get a few turns. Um, Gastrodon's here, uh, maybe to convince him to go Sun rather than to go Water mode. Um, but you know, if he's got like dual Grass moves, then I can't bring it. But uh, if it's just if there's no Venusaur or Venusaur, if I uh, feel like I can dispose of it, then uh, Gastrodon and Trick Room will do fine. Uh, but that's the plan. Win with Heatran. How many KOs are we going to get with Heatran this week? Come on, let's not be afraid to use the Heatran as I have the past few weeks. We have to be brave and Dynamax the Heatran and support the Heatran and win with the Heatran. Let's go. Uh, matches later this evening. See you soon. Yeah, so we see Venucol. We see Kruk. Kruk's a big problem. Um, I don't really have much to hit it with Thundy, but he want, I want it to be part of my lead to taunt the Venusaur. And to taunt also Togepi and Morgrim. I want him to be here, but he's kind of tough against Kruk. Maybe we go with Ladius. That's fine. So this one we protect Gladius. Hopefully we just get like a random Dynamax attack into us. Um, maybe we do a swap into throw, get our So I think we want to protect this guy. Wait, there's a fake out coming. Haunting Morgrim seems really good. Please, please max darkness this guy. 
I would love that. Oh, unfortunately we get faked out. Please don't rock fall. Okay, yeah, so this is the as what it, what we expected to happen. We get our weakness policy. We max overgrowth. Something he could really, he could like T-wave me or something. I don't want to waste my max on Latias, but yeah, please. 75% of the time I'm fine here. Oh, he gets to go first because of T-Wave. Um, please don't get paralyzed, Yoki. Okay. Hold on, so he's a salt vest. That's the only way he could he could have survived that. Wow, okay. We might need to guard here. I'm gonna hope that the attack goes into Latius. I get to brick break this guy. Please don't T-wave me. Okay, getting the reads right so far. Please die, thank you. Is there a Venu Cole in the back? There is a Cole, there's probably a Venu too, and I'm du dual status, so that's pretty good. I can max flare the Morgrim. Just brick break the Torkoal. Um, okay. That is good damage, actually. Super effective against both my guys. For some reason, he survives. This Eviolite Morgrim. Being a hassle to me. I think Tailwind Protect might be our move here. I want to outspeed this guy. I don't want to get Dazzling Gleamed. It did 30% last time. And Tailwind's just good. Like, it's gonna help Heatran. Oh, well, I don't know how much it does help Heatran. He's still not faster than Venusaur in the back. Um, I don't know how much help that does. Maybe it just gives us better positioning if Latias goes down. That was interesting. We know he has a solar beam for the Gastronaut. I'm probably just not bringing the Gastronaut. Um, so now I'm fast with Tailwind. So... Um, you and you. I don't love this Venucol being out. It's like a problem for me. There we are. Can he beat this? I got two fire moves going into Venusaur. He hasn't seen him yet. I mean, maybe he calls it. That would be a good move. But like this Torkoal is like not doing that much. Okay, very good move by Tom there. I don't even get to move, so whatever. I wonder if I die to the Venusaur ground move here. That would mean GG. But I'm Lava Pluming, so. <laughs> lava Plume, Fire Punch. I'm gonna assume he can't do too much. Maybe his last move is ground, but like, Dead. Come on, Torkoal. Ground move. Okay. I survive. I survive. We need the KO here. It's going down to the last turn. Oh, I don't know if I. I don't know if I win this. Okay, we win it. It was very close. Okay. So what do we know? We have grass moves. We have Venucol out and annoying and I mean you've got to trust in the Heatran here like uh, maybe he's, he's gonna switch it I think maybe Venu Cole up front I can go with uh, Thunderous throw I mean Thunderous didn't end up being very useful here but like against Togepi it's useful if I get the live <laughs> which I would against Venu Cole it's better against Venu Cole so let's bring it back So 
So how good is Aromatis, actually? Because apart from this poison move, I don't really see it doing that much. So he's gonna bring the Crook back, I think. Was it Intimidate? It was Intimidate, not that it really matters that much. Oh, well, maybe I don't wanna bring Throw in the front. Maybe I bring out Heatran, he ground moves it, and then I just switch back into Latias. It's kind of a dangerous thing. Latias. Kind of a dangerous leap, but. Uh, yeah, Venicol. So, it, yeah, Thunderous is better against Venicol. We're gonna just max Heatran, try to just win. Just, we're gonna try to just win. Um, now we're gonna taunt, and so the main concern is Heatran falling asleep, which is why I resolved to not lead Heatran. Uh, but you live and you learn. If Throw goes to sleep, like, all right. So he gets free damage. Yeah, it's probably a pretty safe move from his perspective. Um, so now I'm not concerned about sleep anymore, so I can just fire two moves into this guy. If it's the Dynamax threat... It had a Power Whip and a Life Orb, I kind of think it's going to max. Well, it doesn't. But it dies, so... Okay, and then my max move, unfortunately, <laughs> was not the ideal max move. I get to Electroweb unless it's Crook next. Damn. Weather Ball's decent. He does a max, um, which we call it Rockfall. Heatwave did 22, unfortunately. I think I have to risk the throw death here. Other balls get damage. I don't mind. Because one of these guys gets to attack. They might both die, because Krook and then Torkoal, but I'll take it. I think, I think a max guard's pretty safe. So he does the, the, the dual intimidate, intimidati thing. I'd like him to ground move this guy again. That would be really great. He's not going to heat wave into Heatran, so. Um, max ooze. Not good into it, it's Intimidate Cycle. I don't know if that's what Tom's looking for here. Unclear. Please ground move it. Please ground move it. Please ground move it. <laughs> I don't quite understand the wisdom of that move, but whatever. So I'm going first. I'm going first. 2v2. We got an energy ball. It's not an Oko, but something. Oh, I think I probably lose this. So we, I think we need to Tailwind. Solar Beam? Tailwind Solar Beam. Is that an Oko? I have 30 seconds. But it's a salt vest, so it's not an Oko. Crap. I think I might lose this one. So I just assume ground moves are coming. This is just super ballsy. But I think the only way I win is by Okoing this crook. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, 
That's like a salt vest. Major damage. Okay, so we're gonna go to game three. That's okay. Get one more KO for Heatran, maybe. Go into game three. Okay. Crook's a problem. Like, Crook's definitely the best thing in my team. But we didn't see a, a sleep powder yet, despite the opportunity to do so. We need to just max the dang Heatran. So we do the reverse. We know reverse card here. I think we stand a better chance against Krook in Trick Room. But, they, but uh... I think we're really prepared to fight in Trick Room against with two grass moves. I don't think we're really prepared to fight like that. Crook. Crook's the biggest problem for my team. I think the original plan's the best we got. Just tailwind up immediately. Might just lose Latias for it. So we gotta fake out. I don't love the presence of Suicune here. I was like, chill out, bro. I want Morgan taunted really bad. Like Icy Wind is like the worst we have to worry about. I think we have to try both. We try both speed control options and lose one of them. It's not really that. Yeah, this is, that's kind of a waste of a turn from his perspective. Let's just get our speeds. Sludge Bomb's good against this guy. Still Fire is good against this guy. I mean, like Icy Wind is like likely coming here, maybe Ice Beam, but it's not super scary, is it? This Morgrim refuses to die, and is pretty annoying to me. Uh, so it's slowed. I think we might have it. We want an Electro Web on this guy, kind of regardless. Protect seems relatively safe here. Good. Ice Beam is unfortunately hurts a little bit. You're slowed, but you're not slowed to the point that uh, I have to be a Vladius, are you? Let's kind of give a guess here. This guy's just running like rock moves. He can't really touch Latias. Um, but also, but also. So what am I doing against this Torkoal? I think the, 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 okay, well, if he tells me that I can do this, I will do this. Wow, wins that speed situation. That was very interesting. Um, so yeah, he was, he's between 159 and 133, so I still go first, um, I 
think I want to max ground, get my spadef up, because like Venusaur is likely in the back, or may maybe it's Kruk, in which case this is pretty dangerous, but I need to Tailwind, max Quake. Crook, yeah, Crook's his winner here. I get to Solar Beam. Not sure what that does exactly, but Are we getting a protect on Crook. I think it's a Salt Vest, so it's not, we're not getting a protect on Crook. Please just don't die in one hit. I would appreciate it. A ground move does some, but not all. Max over goes to 39. I'm close, but I'm not quite there. Please finish it out, a throw. Once again, would very much appreciate it. Oh wait, with grassy terrain, I get plus 30%. I think I wanna brick break regardless. I think I get the KO here. I don't, I think he's a salt vest. So he can very easily uh, protect here, and I'm no longer tailwinded, but I'm going first regardless. Please, yes, okay. Close game, Tom played a good game. Um, I mean, he made a mistake with, I guess, his item, but uh, geez, okay. um, let me make sure I have all the games. Yeah, but we win because we had enough for Kruk. We had grass moves. Um, a self as crew was a very smart bring, though. Yeah, so uh, that was fun. We're 3-1 in this season. Thank God we get a win today. Uh, we just lost the uh, SPS game spoilers. Um, but I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.